What's up bafflers? James Witter here. Sorry if the audio is a bit rubbish. My microphone isn't plugged in at the moment, so hopefully you can hear what I'm saying. But this is a bit of a last minute video because we got this message from Adobe Fonts. The team at Adobe Fonts is hard at work at improving the service and all that kind of stuff. And we'll get onto the positives in a minute. We'll, we'll start with the negatives and we'll go onto the positives. So Font Bureau and Carter and Cohen have decided to remove their fonts from the Adobe Fonts library. This is effective June 15th. When these fonts are removed, they will automatically disappear from your list of active fonts. This means that the fonts will no longer be shown in the fonts tab of the Creative Cloud subscription. So I'm guessing at the moment, if you try and search for any of their fonts, they probably won't be available. But regardless that the fonts, if you have them installed, they will only be available until June the 15th. So the most important thing is that we need to know which fonts will be effective because if you've got projects that you're working on which are using certain Adobe fonts, then you need to make sure that you find alternative fonts. Okay, so let's start off with Font Bureau. Now, what I'll do is link this in the description. You can have a proper look through to see all the fonts that will be affected. These are just all the fonts that they have. It doesn't mean that all the fonts were on Adobe fonts. I can definitely recognize a lot of fonts right here that I use. Okay, so Agency FB. Now this is a well-known font. I don't need to go through all of them. I'll just scroll through them. But yeah, I use that one. Uh, there's lots of these that I've used before and I'm not quite sure why I can't just uh, yeah this navigation is terrible anyway uh, but yes there is a lot of well-known fonts right here. Look up here so if you're using any of these fonts I'll put the link in the description so you can have a proper look but if any fonts look familiar it's worth checking to see if you're using any of your any in your projects because once it's June the 15th these fonts will no longer be available. Now I'm not quite sure why Adobe don't seem to tell you why either it's just what it is. Um, maybe some sort of licensing issue maybe this type network I don't know who owns type network but maybe they have the exclusive rights to use these fonts and Adobe have no I don't know like I don't know the ins and outs and all I know is that these fonts will no longer be available so if you're using these fonts and if they were available on Adobe Fonts, then they will no longer be available on Adobe Fonts from June the 16th. So this is Font Bureau, so you've only just gone through one of them at the moment. So that's Font Bureau, and I don't know about you, but I've recognised a lot of fonts. But it's worth mentioning that there's almost 100 fonts from, I can't, I'm terrible of names, I do apologise, Fiore Jones Type, uh, previously listed under Font Bureau which will not be impacted by the change. You'll have access to user favourites like Interstate, Noble and Griffith Gothic. I always have a problem saying <laughs> that's a bit of a tongue twister. I'm not sure if there's a full list of fonts. Uh, maybe if you go on Adobe Fonts. Uh, fonts.adobe.com and go type in... Because this isn't actually a link, it's just an underline. Uh, then, yeah, you'll find all the fonts for... There we go. Okay, so, I don't know if you... I remember Interstate was one of them that was on there. My memory's terrible, but if any of these fonts... If you're using any of these fonts, then they will still be available after the June the 15th. So if you're using any of these fonts, don't worry, these fonts will still be available. Now, on to the next one. So... Carter and Cone. Let's go and see all. I'm going to arrange by A to Z. So, right from the bat, I recognise that one. Georgia Pro, that's a well known one because Georgia is a well known font. And this is like the Pro version, a bit more refined. But yeah, these fonts will no longer be available from June 15th. But, as it mentions, if you, if you have a project and you need to use a certain font, then I'm not a sponsored by Type Network, but I'm guessing you get them from Type Network. I don't know if it's a font, I guess it's a font buying platform rather than a subscription platform. So, yeah, this has a lot of sort of pro versions of fonts like Verderna Pro and uh, Georgia Pro. You get the whole idea. So if you're using those fonts, then you may have a bit of a problem trying to access them after the June the 15th. So I'm guessing... 
if you have them in any sort of Photoshop projects, any uh, Illustrator projects or whatever you're using Adobe fonts with, Premiere Pro, the fonts will just like return to Arial or Helvetica or something. It will sort of go on a backup font and your fonts will no longer appear, which is a bit rubbish. I'm not sure if I'm uh, quite allowed as it is. I don't know what the whole licensing is, but there may be, if you're using Illustrator, there may be a way you can kind of go around this. Now, like I said, I don't know if this is allowed or not. This is probably a bit naughty, but let's just go to Illustrator right now. <laughs> Instead of me trying to explain it, I'll just go into it. So if I just type in... Oh, I'll, I'll, we'll just go with Laura Mipsum for now. <laughs> That'll do. Uh, so if you're using a font, let me just see if I can try and search for Verdena Pro or something. Verdena Pro is not... I don't have that. I'm not sure it, if it's going to be available. No, it looks like it isn't available. That's that's not it. Uh, yeah. So yeah, for Dano, so they've already removed the fonts from Creative Cloud. So I'm not sure if you haven't already installed. I think you have up to June the fifteenth. However, if you don't have them installed, do I have Georgia Pro? That sounds familiar. I need. <laughs> I, I don't know. If, say, you really want to use this font, all you have to do is go ahead and create outlines. And now, although you can't physically edit and type... Oh, just did something. Ah. Yeah. Adobe, please. Um, yeah, so you can't edit the text once you do this. That's worth noting. But if you want this particular style of font and you need it for your project, then that's always a good option if you're using Illustrator. That's a good way if you really do need to use the font. If not, then it will be available on Type Network. But it does mention you can also contact Font Bureau directly at fontbureau at typenetwork.com to take advantage for special offers for Adobe Fonts users. There's going to be thousands of people <laughs> that are going to be affected by this change. So I guess they're offering a special discount I don't really know the whole details, but go ahead and email them if you're interested. Anyway, so it's not all bad news. Adobe Fonts has also recently added close to a thousand new fonts. Is this a link to all the a thousand new fonts? That would be helpful. I think these are the new fonts. So that's a groovy one. Um, yeah, so there's a lot of new fonts available on Adobe Fonts, so it's not like all the fonts are going. <laughs> there's new fonts, so fonts come and go basically, I think. I don't know how often this actually happens to be honest. I don't remember this happening before. It's worth mentioning that there's like five completely new Foundry partners, including MVB Fonts, American Type Founders Collection, plus the fans of the Bebis New. I don't know. Is that how you say it? Bebis New? Uh, have created a Bebis New Pro. Well, that, that's interesting. I actually use this font quite a lot. So that'd be worth having, definitely. Um, yeah, so this is the American Type Founders Collection. Some very nice looking fonts. I like that. That's a nice looking font. <laughs> I, I know I'm just rambling on about fonts, but you get the old idea. This is... Uh, that's quite a cool font as well. Uh, yeah, but... So there's a lot of new awesome fonts. So it's not all bad news. There's lots of new fonts available. So I, I, I don't really know what to do at this point. Uh, I have a few projects which I know use fonts from Font Bureau and Cartoon Stone. And like I said, remember that fonts from Fiero Jones type will not be affected. So yeah, hopefully more font foundries don't follow suit because this is quite annoying. It's awkward really because I think the problem is with a subscription model is that quite honestly it kind of devalues the fonts. Now I know people aren't going to like me for saying that but it's kind of true because you have access to thousands of fonts under a whole subscription whereas you could just buy fonts for like ten pound, twenty pound, forty pound, whatever much they cost, and obviously that racks up to a lot more money. So yeah, let me know your thoughts about this. I don't think much people are going to be going, oh well, this is great. But like I said, there is a thousand new fonts available, so it's not all bad news. Just make sure that if you have any fonts that are under Font Bureau and Carter and Cone, that they will no longer be available after June the 15th. I was about to say, if you like this video, smash that like button. I know you don't like the subject. This subject is probably not really good news. The close to a thousand new fonts, I'm not gonna lie, that is a brilliant, that is brilliant news. So if you like that, smash the like button. If you want any more of this sort of thing, don't forget 
Don't forget to subscribe and ding so you don't miss a thing. Don't forget to follow me at Baffle Channel. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat and TikTok. For all the latest, head over to baffle.cc. Thanks for watching and have a baffling day.